An organization that helps introduce people to horseback riding needs some help tonight. They say riding horses can be therapeutic to people of all ages, especially those with disabilities. And as News 8's Tina Detail reports, they're looking for volunteers. Whether it's building the confidence in people with disabilities or introducing inner city kids to horseback riding, High Hopes has been doing it for more than 30 years. Tina, walk on. Ask Andrew Hart and he'll tell you he's been coming to High Hopes and Old Lyme for a long time. Today he is learning how to drive a carriage and control candy. I like coming here and I like um, seeing the horses and that kind of stuff. So it's very fun for me. He and Tina may also tell you they couldn't do it without Sarah, one of the many volunteers who make the many programs at this therapeutic riding ring happen. I love she doing a great job. All of them are. This summer, they will be saddling up several programs, but they can only do it with volunteers. It's rewarding for me. It must be rewarding for them. You can see it in their face. They smile. You know, they're happy that they've accomplished something. A confidence that carries beyond this ring. While Sarah here obviously has horse experience, they're looking for volunteers, though, who have any type of experience. They use up to 50 a day, and they could be here in the ring. They could also be in the front office. I came out one day and started sidewalking, and then I've been horse leading since. So. High Hopes will train volunteers who want to take the reins to help others. It's a wonderful group of people that work here, um, and then getting to work with the children and the horses, it's an absolute pleasure. High Hopes is holding its annual fundraising event right in the arena June 8th. Now this year, it's a night in New Orleans. And of course, they also need volunteers to help set that up. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.